okay guys thank you for for watching my videos again and this tutorial uh it, it now we already created a module for read and write memory and now we are ready to create our trainers to create the first trainers so let's open a file on here and let's me let's say salt cube trainer so cute trainer say ac trainer dot py uh let me put it on here so you guys see and now okay so right here okay we're gonna say we have to import let's say from dk inter import button we're going to use we're going to use entry tk and and label i think that's all we're going to do if we need something else then we add it on there i know for sure we're going to use button entry tk and label and now then we have to say import ttk ttk is so so when you create a button it's that same button that windows is using like windows 7 same like use windows xp you use another one same as windows xp uses so now we need to take to import tk font this is so we can because what i have on here that i'm going to be creating in another tutorial is that every time i let me show you here uh, see if i still have it visual studio I designed my my tutorials this is a this is a trainer that I'm going to use I design them on Visual Basic on, on Visual Studio and then from here like for example when I create a button I say okay this is the button everything because it's, it's faster so now I go on here and I say okay where where is located so this is the size of the button 50 by 38 and this is the location where it is on here so that's why it's, it's easy you just create something on visual studio and then just get that where where they are located and you know and, and fix it and you just do that put them on on python you need to tweak them a little bit but it's so much easier so that's why tk font is, is to use fonts like i'm going to show you later i'm planning to make another video about it too so now image and image tk this is so uh, you can use icons an icon like for example see we have an icon here and we also have a background which is an image that's that's why so you can use an image on the background and now the tk message box is this 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 right here when you click on here it gives you your, this message box we say made by b santiago 113 this is my forum redemptionhackers.com so this is uh that what the tk message box is going to use from so now we're going to say from on here you say that it says read write memory so we're going to say that from there from read write memory we are going to import our class which we import our class we can use everything that is in there and remember that we finish our class on here so we're going to import this so we said from rewrite memory module which is all this file we're going to import this the rwm and this is going to allow allow us access to everything in here so we're going to say import rwm and now we're going to say i'm sorry we're gonna say class application or we can say class trainer whatever name you want to do on there you can also say class ac ac trainer if you want and this is a constructor let's pass that out on there okay so now we have the the class over there so now on here we have to create the main now on the main you're gonna say root i know you guys already know this one so let me go a little fast and now what i'm gonna do here here 
filter. This is for, so, for example, when you create a window on Visual Studio, it's not exactly the same size as as the you're do you're doing it on, on Python. So you need to to do like a filter. Filter. Every time you create a program, you need to like like filter. Okay. Okay. Every time you create a program, you need to tweak tweak the program so it gets the the best size it can. For example, uh, as you know, it says says three o seven three five five. Mine says uh, um, mine says filter. Okay, mine says three o seven. Yeah, three forty two because I had to tweak this one. If you don't want to tweak on here, then you're gonna have to do what the the subtraction that I do. Where you you can say okay, with is equal with filter, and then you subtract like you kind of see how it look like both windows and you subtract that one and then on here i subtract 34 like if you want for example make it exactly the same you subtract from here not from here i just did it this way instead of this other one but you can like you can say okay like 342 um sorry you can say 355 minus 342 is equal is 13 so i can say 355 now 13 plus 34 is 47 and it still look it's gonna look exactly the same thing so now now everything looks the same to know if it looks the same let me finish this and, and we compare okay now we got a filter now we say sw is equals root and then here we get the information from our, our screen to have everything say a, a a how you say in the center of the screen and then on here I we say h dot no I'm sorry sh sh is equal the same root the info screen hey Okay, this is gonna give us the how how width and height is our screen monitor or resolution, and it's going to to divide it so our our screen is always centered in the center of the screen when we open our 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 window or GUI application. And now, I'm sorry. Okay, now here we're gonna say SW minus W. And now, then we're gonna divide it by two. That's everything you need to do. And then we're gonna say y is equal, and then just we do the same, and we say sh minus h, and we divide it by two. So this is getting the the just the size of your screen is subtracting by our, our, our fil filter, and then is dividing it by two to send make everything in the center of the screen. So now we're gonna just geometry I want to try to do this a little fast because I know you guys know this already and I don't want to guys be boring at this so here is where I always get confused the yes, yeah mm -mm -mm, yeah because this is X for here okay Down. Okay, so plus I think I did one over yeah. I think it's d time plus plus d time plus plus one two three four. I think it's good. Yeah. Okay, and then we say um, X and then Y. Okay, yeah, this is good. Should be working. We're gonna test it anyways. And then uh, another thing that, that I do is I resizable. We say width is equals false. 
and and eight is equals false. So what we're doing is like because we don't want anyone to be resizing our window and screw things up, then nothing is gonna look the same. Never. That's why I do that. And then on here we say root title. We give it a title. We're gonna call it um, salt cube trainer. Okay. This is for the icon. Icon bitmap. Okay, so my icon is here on a C drive. And uh, it's this one right here. So you just get this name over here. Put it on here. Get get this. Um put it in here. So now we have the icon already. Remember on Python, because this means escape, you need to put a, another one. It has to be two on there. So now it should be working. And now the other thing that I'm going to do, I'm sorry, root that configure. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now the background is equals and black black is all zeros eight zeros or three zeros is all the same thing okay now the image i have it in the same place where i have on my c drive remember the, your image needs to be in the same place okay this is the image so right click I'm um, sorry, where is it? Okay, rename. Copy the name. I'm going here. And if you want from now, you can just throw out the other one and everything is should be good. Copy this address and put it in there. So now this is pointing to the image that I have on the C drive. So that's for, for that's for the background image. And now just take photo and I say image that open. Um, no, I'm using say photo image tk that photo photo image image. Okay, so remember that we have that that image tk on here. I, hopefully, I I spell that right. So it's a photo, and we have the image, both of them. So this is getting this is just set up this open the image set up as this and then just put, just put it in there and now we're gonna say okay this lay label yeah i'm sorry i just forgot things sometimes and it's going to root an image is equal for and now you just say the label equals the photo and that's it and it gets exactly the same size as the as the background just one thing remember w on python just if you plan to create your your that's why it's good if you just do it in here because it's better because like for example for this window i made it 307 by 7 uh, by 355 because the image on photoshop i made it 307 by 355 so so the the our window gets a size from the image that we are that we are making so that's why the the size of the image is so important and with the when then we just just say label now let's this is a lower case because i don't want my program to be all confused and give me an error using the same name that are like you know using the same names are python use label that image is equal photo that's how you you unpack it just create everything you can just set up different sites for the image i'm using that that place putting whatever you want but i do it this way so i already have know what size i want my window and i make my background image same size so my window gets a size from that my 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 window i'm sorry my gui application yeah gets a size from the from the background image and now ac trainer 
main window so now this is gonna call sorry it's gonna be equal AC trainer which is our class and we're gonna pass root okay now we say root the main loop and system okay okay I think we have everything so this is it means like when you close your application it exit this is just to make sure the application is gonna exit out and now here you're gonna say if if name is equal is equals main right there now let's see if we have errors on here we shouldn't have any oh we have one ah that's why <laughs> okay now it should work just remember on here definition just whatever name or and then pass I just mistake I forgot no module name it TK font no module name TK font mm, I always the second word is the uppercase so let's see if it works now I don't see any errors. No module name image. Oh my god. Okay. So no module name image TK either. Oh my god. Uh, these constructors take no arguments oh I know why apologize for all these guys because here we have to say self and give it a name now now it should work these constructors take no argument why these constructors take no argument why 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 this constructor takes no argument um, let me do same as, as i always do this mean initiation of a constructor so parent and now definition test me let's see now this initiates a constructor okay finally we have it working so here is our main window and one thing that I wanted to show you is for example if you power, turn this one on and we compare with a with a Python window should be about the same size the other one is still a little little bigger it's okay you guys can tweak this at any time if I see that something is not working later on when I'm creating the game, I'm gonna go edit everything to make to make it look not better. So here is uh, what we're gonna be working on the next video. The next video we are going to add the buttons, the labels, and then on the third video, there's where we're gonna be getting the addresses with Cheat Engine and getting some functionality on our trainer. See you in the next video. In the next video. And please share and subscribe.